a lot of you, so it is great to see you. We often hear the terms, not about us, without us, uh, but we've changed it a little bit for the, the, this brochure, nothing for us, without us. So you can choose what you'd like, but we know that it's about you, it's for you, and it's with us. So that's great. Uh, together we want to bring lots of bold new ideas to life in villages, in towns, in cities across India. And that's what today is reflecting in the many, many speakers that we've had. It's um, a terrific moment for us to really join forces. We want to launch with you, Yuwa, which you were great about saying Yuwa, so I'm glad to have you do it again. Uh, so is everybody ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yuwa! Yuwa. Okay, great. Um, it's uh, clearly a new initiative. It is clearly for the 333 million young people in India today. And uh, we want to be sure that everyone gains the skills that they need uh, and that they want to have so that they can participate productively in society across India for the many, many years to come in their lives. But any country's uh, greatest asset is the young people, the energies and ideas and vision of the young people. And India is not only no exception to this, but India is the central point of this. So as young people build their own futures, they'll build the India future too. Investing in young people, investing in children, is the best investment any of us ever make in our lives. So the fact that you are is exactly this kind of a purposeful program is the reason that we launched Generation Unlimited last year. It is a step change in how we think about education, skilling, and employment for hundreds of millions of young people across India, but we are anticipating that this can also ripple out around the world. It's a true partnership, businesses, governments, innovators, UN agencies, civil society organizations, and young people, all scaling up existing solutions or developing new ones. But I particularly want to thank a few people who are here. The Ministries of Skill and Entrepreneurship, of Education and Youth Affairs, Niti Ayog, companies and foundations, industry associations like the Confederation of Indian Industries and the National Association of Software and Services Companies, civil society organizations like GAME and Youth for Jobs and Ashoka, and some of our sister UN agencies like UNDP and ILO and UNESCO and UNFPA and the World Bank. But to the young people today, it's quite clear that you're not here alone. The people that are here are here to support you. So yesterday we received a letter from the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi, that he pledged to work with us to give young people the skills that they need to build the new India, the new India of the 21st century. So that's a huge vote of support. So um, if those of you, um, when I mention your name, would just stand up, this is a little bit of physical exercise here. Um, so government, at all levels, time for you government people to rise here, at all levels are behind you. <clears throat> um, so India's ministries are fully committed to bringing you into the decision-making process for policies and programs around skills, education, entrepreneurship, and employment, and the business community. Business community, rise. <laughs> so the business community is behind you. Uh, the businesses in this room and across India, around the world, are committed to putting their innovation and technological know-how and research toward helping young people like you make the transition from school to work. Training programs, distance learning, mentorships, apprenticeships, internships, skills development. These are the kinds of investments that will bring these programs to life. And civil society, UN agencies, and the World Bank are behind you. <laughs> Thank you.
building bridges with the community and civil society groups who are doing so much to support young people all across India. And we need everyone on board to gather evidence and data and to build the programs and platforms that we need so that every young person in India is in school, training, or age-appropriate employment by the year 2030. Working together with these committed groups will respond directly to the young people across the country for what they have told us that they need. Last year, I participated in the National Youth Consultations programs here in India, and I heard from young people in six states, their dreams and aspirations, their concerns and worries for the future, and the solutions they would like to see that would help them. They told us they need a better education, an education that is aligned to the job market, one that is modernized. They told us they want job opportunities. Each month, one million young people in this country turn 18, and they're ready for work. Young women also told us that they needed help in employment. They need to be able to keep the jobs they already have, but they also need safety, family support, equal opportunity for jobs, these were all issues that were raised by young women. And young people told us that they also want the skills that prepare them for the economy of the future. Digital skills and green skills and entrepreneurial skills for those who want to create businesses of their own. The UWA strategy and roadmap that we've launched today are a result of these discussions. <clears throat> and through it, we are making a bold commitment to the young people in India. <clears throat> Pardon me. If not, you'll carry on. <clears throat> By 2030, we will reach 100 million young women and men by working... <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> 100 million young women and men by working with the private sector to focus on job matching and mass entrepreneurship will reach 200 million young people with skills training and career counseling, internships and apprenticeships, and will reach 300 million with the tools and training they need to make the positive changes in their communities through digital advocacy and community organization skills, for instance, and helping citizens engage in India. And Ravi spoke about this earlier, so it's a very exciting time. For UNICEF's part, <clears throat> Pardon me, we will be hosting a secretariat for UA. Uh, we will help foster the nationwide step change that I mentioned in education and skilling and employment. So UA belongs to you, just as the future of India belongs to you. So this is the message for young people today. So help us think big, be bold, don't think that the only career available to you is one that your parents have had. Girls, know that you live in a country where women have broken many ceilings and now want to break every ceiling. So it's your time. Speak up, participate, and don't give up until you've been heard. Your generation can be the one that changes the course of the country that sparks innovation and economic growth, creating the jobs of tomorrow and the prosperity that India needs and that support a growing population. Today, your country needs you. The partners here today are standing with you to invest in ideas and solutions to support you. So let's get started. Thank you.